hi! I, uh, didn't see you there. It's, uh, it's been a while, to say the least. Um, I'd like to be very upfront here and talk about the past few years and also discuss the future of this channel. I'll try to make it not boring by throwing in some, like, sick guitar riffs or something. Uh, it's been over three years since I've uploaded, and, and you know, I could have just gone back into uploading wacky videos again, but I wanted to, um, kind of address what's been going on here. Um, I could have done this in a wacky way too, but I, I decided to just kind of be very direct and very plain and simple, get in front of the camera and say, Hey, this is, uh, this is what's been going on. This is the problem. Um, this is the situation. Because <laughs> um, I think a, a part of the problem in the first place was that I wasn't being very direct with my audience and I was kind of a, a, afraid to like face um, kind of what, what, what had gone down um, in, in my life, just generally. Uh, and I'll, I'll get to that. Um, so, obviously, like, primary contributors were the pandemic. Um, I was very isolated, and a lot of the people that I used to make videos with, like, I, I kind of lost touch with during the pandemic days. And so when I came out the other side of it, I was kind of, like, you know, friends with different people, and a lot of them lived, like, very far away and couldn't make videos with me. And, um, also a lot of them weren't interested in, in making videos, generally. So I kind of had to deal with, um, that. Uh, another thing is, uh, my, my transition, which, like, I'll, I'll get to that, I'll talk about that later. Um, and my mental health, which has been, you know, interesting. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'll get to that later, too. I want to cover some other things first. So, um, this is Potato Factory Films, and I want to mention that, um, this channel has gone by other names, and you might know it by the name Pivotal Media, because it was called Pivotal Media for a good two years. Um, I just, you know, I, I named the channel Potato Factory Films when I was 11, which makes sense because what adult would name a YouTube channel Potato Factory Films? Hello everybody and welcome to the first ever episode of Potato Factory Films. Potato. But I, you know, when I was 11 years old, I thought, yeah, you know what would be a great name for a YouTube channel? Potato Factory Films. Um... And, uh, then when I was, like, when I was 18 years old, I thought, like, oh, that's a childish name, that's dumb. I should give it something more mature and, like, professional. So I named it Pivotal Media, which I, you know, I very quickly thought was a little too stiff and, like, dull and kind of, like, pretentious also. Yeah, it's a bit pretentious for my taste, but hey, at least it's a better name than Potato Factory Films. So I, I changed it. At some point, I think like in late 2022, like the pivotal spectacular, you know? Welcome, one and all, to my pivotal spectacular! Um, because I thought that was a little more like wacky, um, more in line with my style, you know? Uh, and then not long after that, I stopped uploading videos for three years. And, and I'm back now, and I, I did go with the decision to permanently rename the channel Potato Factory Films, because I think this is that's just what this channel is, you know? Um, it's, the, it's true name. It's true name is Potato Factory Films, you know? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Um, I should say quick that I have two other channels. Um, so Potato Factory Films I am going to use for fictional content, um, stuff like, um, uh, Quest for the Crystal Potato, which I did announce is coming back for season four. I'm gonna have to go on a quest. Uh, you know, I really don't know how many of the people watching this video are gonna have any clue who I was five years ago, you know? Probably most people watch- it's been over four years since the last episode of Quest for the Crystal Potato. So, you know, I'm willing to bet most of the people watching this have no idea what that is, but... But I think this video is almost kind of intended specifically for people that used to watch my videos a long time ago that, um... That are like, oh, wow, 
this person's alive, huh? You know? Um, so PFF is gonna have scripted stuff like, uh, like Quest, and I'm bringing Toby Cool back. Do you remember Toby Cool? Hey, what's up? I am Toby Cool with a K. If I had friends, they'd break on me, uh, the TK, but, uh, jury's out on that right now. Uh, I'm gonna have, um, let sketches and shenanigans. I might do some, like, analog horror stuff. I'm gonna make short films. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. But, um, I have a second channel that's called Eller's Galaxy. And the link to that will be in the description. And Eller's Galaxy is more for, like, non-fiction content. So I'm gonna put, like, video essays on there and film reviews and me just kind of talking about stuff. Um, uh, if I do any gaming content, like edited gaming content, uh, I'll probably put it on Elder's Galaxy. Where you have to fill a double chest with birch logs. Now how you get those birch logs uh, is a little up to you. Um, then uh, there's a third channel, which is the Elder's Archive, and that's just like a VOD channel for my Twitch streams. Cause I am a Twitch streamer now, and I have it. That's that's kind of been more my focus the past couple of years. Um, that's been more what I've been doing. Um, it's been it's been fun, you know. Uh, but I, I missed YouTube quite a bit, and I'm glad to be getting back to it. Um. <laughs> so now, uh, the big uh, the big thing. I don't look the same, do I? I look a little different, and I sound a little different as well. A little bit. Um, so that is something that has certainly changed since I've been gone. Um, I transitioned. Uh, I think it went pretty well for the most part. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, I don't talk about it much, though. I've, I've kind of gone past it a little bit, and I'm, I'm a little private with it. And I think even... I, I mean, I considered doing it since I was, like, 12, I think. I, I wanted to transition since I was, like, 12. And I almost did several times until I eventually actually did when I was 19. And um, one of the reasons that I didn't when I was like 14 or whatever was because I thought, how will Potato Factory Films fans handle the news that I want to do this, you know? How will I explain how Dr. Crazy Person in Quest is a girl now. It won't make any sense. It's been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> and so that stopped me from, like, doing it. Which is so ridiculous, you know, but I was kind of stupid back then. Um, and, you know, I'm glad I did it. I'm a lot happier now. Things are a lot better for me than they used to be. Partially because I transitioned. Um, life is good, you know? Now. It didn't used to be. Um, so, that's a big part, right? And there was always kind of this insecurity about it. And if you kind of look back, I did continue making videos after I started HRT, and after I came out, and I did continue making videos after I, um, like, started HRT and came out. Um, and in those videos, I was very, um... I was very, like, secretive about the fact that I was doing anything, you know? And I always wore, like, very androgynous clothes, and I very was always very, like, um... Like, I refused to acknowledge that anything had changed, you know? Because I was, for some reason, really, really, really afraid to address this on YouTube. Um, and I think I'm not anymore. I think I got over it. So, um... So I can handle it now, you know? And we can... I put it out there, it's fine, whatever, you know. Uh, don't have to worry about that anymore. In the future, the, I, you know, I'll look like this in my videos, and that's, that's good, I think. So, um, the other thing, the other kind of big factor here that went into everything is that in, um, in July 2019, I was diagnosed with bipolar type 1. I think it's type 1. Type 1's the psychosis one, right? Yeah, I think it's type 1. Uh, <laughs> um, it's, they're called type 1 and type 2. How are you supposed to remember, like, when things are just called, like, A and B? Like, how am I supposed to remember which one is A and which one is B? It's like, I don't know. Um, 
but I think it's type 1. And so I've dealt with, um, like, some very severe symptoms for, uh, years. And it went back to before my diagnosis by, by a while, but, um, you know, I've, I've dealt with, uh, mania and psychosis, and, um, I've also, like, had seizures before, um, during this kind of stretch of time. Uh, one thing I dealt with that was really rough was, um, catatonia, where, like, my, my body would, like, freeze up like a statue and I'd just be kind of stuck. Um, it's not fun, you know? Uh, sorry this isn't a fun video. I, I just kind of felt like I needed to get this out of the way before I did anything. It, I needed to kind of clear the air with things. Um, felt appropriate for me. Uh, to, to kind of get this off my chest before I start making wacky fun content. Um... Yeah, I got, like, hallucinations and stuff. It, um, wasn't great. I still get that stuff sometimes, but it's- I, I can handle it better. I'm on a lot of medication. Um, it, things are much better for me now. It, it, it worked out. Um, so, as you can imagine, like, holding a job is not easy with a condition like that. Um, making content for YouTube is- also not easy, and that's, um, that's why I, um, haven't, that's part of why I haven't really been making anything. But there's been stretches of time where I've felt okay for a while, and I, I still didn't make any YouTube content. And, and I think where that comes in is that I, I don't know, like, I, I wasn't in the habit of it, you know? And it felt like I had to make some grand return. I got all in my own head. Now, okay. I want to talk about the future now. I'm going to talk about my uh, my plan. So, again, I think a big part of the reason why I was gone for so long uh, is that I was kind of imagining some grand return, and I, I guess this is it, you know? I guess this is the grand return. I just decided to be um, more no-nonsense with it. I didn't want to, like, put on some spectacle. I just wanted to, like, be like, hey, this, this is it. Like, this is the return. I'm back, you know? rip the band-aid off. Um, but I, I was always kind of imagining I'd come back and like my videos would be so much better than they used to be. They'd be perfect and flawless even though I hadn't been in the practice of making anything in forever. Um, I got really perfectionist, you know, plans fell through and none of the videos I wanted to make really worked out. I did have a lot of ideas over those years that I was gone and I just never finished any of them. Like even, um, last August, I think. I had a pretty robust plan for a return, and I had some videos I wanted to make, and I almost did it, and I didn't. So I'm hoping it works this time. I'm hoping I actually come back this time. I hope it works out. Um... So... I've been very active on Twitch, though. Um, I started doing Twitch um, like at the start of 2022, and since then I've been fairly active um, on it most of the time um, since then, and I, I'm not gonna tell you my schedule because it's gonna get outdated quick. But right, okay, I'll tell you. Right now it's um, like Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays at 5 p.m. Central Time. That might get outdated like later, but um, that's what I'm doing right now. If you want to watch, so yeah, I mean I haven't I haven't fallen off the face of the earth certainly. I haven't I haven't just died. I, I, I've got, like, a Discord server that's kind of active for my Twitch streaming, and, um, you know, we, we, we've been doing stuff, but I'm, I'm, I'm just excited to kind of be back to Potato Factory Films, finally. Regarding the future now, right, I am comfortable sharing some very basic information about a few videos, uh, that I feel confident will see the light of day, because they're, like, deep in production, you know? Um, the first of these is a review of the film Dougal. Have you ever heard of the movie Dougal? Well, you will. You should watch the video I'm making. So, we, we recorded a video, um, my friend George Harold won. You should sub to him on YouTube also. He's cool. Um, he and I watched the movie Dougal, and then we, we talked about it for a while. In, in both versions, there's a scene where all these skeletons rise from the dead and attack mm -hmm. our heroes. Uh, and in the Our British heroes. version, in the British version, they're all just going. Eh. 
yeah, yeah. they're making zombie <laughs> noises, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, and in the American version, a few things. Uh, and I just have to edit that. We already did it. We have to I edit it, and I'll put it out. But that's going to be on my second channel. That'll be on the Ellers Galaxy channel. So you should go there, sub to it. Again, link in the description. The other videos. So I'm making a kind of remake of a video I made five years ago, which was called Turns Out the Earth is Actually Flat. Hello there. So as we all know, the Earth is round. It's flat. common knowledge. It, what? Flat. Oh. Wait, really? Yeah, it's the other way around. Oh, okay. So as we all know, the Earth is flat. This remake has kind of a twist to it, but it's the same... I, re I recycled a lot of the lines, and I did a lot of stuff the same, but it's... It's different. You'll see how it's different. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. So, as we all know, the Earth is round. Obviously. Uh... It's flat. What? It's flat. Is that what we're doing here today? Okay. Um... I'm gonna make How Not to Dance 4. Uh, and importantly... I'm bringing back Toby Cool, as I mentioned, um, but her name has is spelled differently now, so <laughs> so it's it's um it's a different spelling of Toby. That that was my explanation for what happened with her. Um, in the first episode with her back, um, the premise is that she finds out for the first time about climate change and freaks out. And, um, then she, like, feels compelled to try to fix it, but, like, she doesn't understand the concept very well, and she gets into, like, wacky hijinks. Um, and kind of, like, falls down a well of misinformation, as often happens in Toby Cool videos. Um, so, um, other projects, at Quest Season 4, which, my current thinking, the production for Quest Season 4, uh, is that I'm gonna do a two-part story arc like two episode story arc to, to start things and then um depending on how things go with that i'm gonna do an additional longer story arc after that um but that that's just my current um way i'm planning it uh we're yeah i've got um i've got a, a bunch of short films in the works and a bunch of different stuff so one of the short films i'm working on is called spores um, I had the idea last fall, and it's definitely something that, like, has to be filmed in the autumn when the trees are all colorful and everything's spooky, you know. Um, and, uh, it's, well, it, it's, like, a kind of horror comedy thing, I guess, and I'm not gonna give too much information away. Uh, so yeah, I, I've got a lot of stuff in the works. Uh, I really just wanted to, today, kind of hit the reset button real hard, you know? Just, uh, really, finally get everything figured out and say, I'm back, and I'm sorry I was gone, and, uh, this is what happened. Um, and now that I've done that, I, I think we're good. I think I can start uploading again. Uh... So yeah, I, I really appreciate anyone who still remembers me after all these years. And I, I, of course, appreciate the new viewers, too. If you are still watching this at the end, I thank you. Cause I, I've just been kind of going on a um, self-indulgent rant here. Um, but it's, uh, again, something I felt like I needed to do, even if not many people watch it. Um... Yeah, so I just think I needed to be more upfront and honest about things. And that's the moral of the story. <laughs> Thanks for watching.